What's up guys, it's Brandon from Audio9. Um, I've gotten a lot of requests to do a Hybrid Theory guitar tone video, uh, so this is going to be that. Uh, I apologize for the watermark around here. Um, so let's just start off. Uh, this is the mastered version. Um, I have the unmastered uh, multi-track and uh, so did my own mix. I removed uh, Brad's guitars and recorded my own in. Did my own mix, so this is what the mastered version sounds like. So, uh, to get to that, pretty much it is, well, what I did is uh, track four rhythm guitar tracks uh, and three lead guitar tracks. So, for two of the rhythm guitar tracks, it's kind of a flatter EQ with a small boost um, in the uh, three to four K range. Uh, here's my settings. These are all uh, recorded using STL Amp Hub. Uh, so if you look here, uh, these are my settings for the flatter um, EQ curve uh, rhythm, rhythm tracks. So those are the amp head settings and then the cab settings. Um, pretty much same cab impulse. Uh, it's the uh, 412 recto. Uh, and then I just blended uh, these two mics. So those on their own sound like this. All right, and then uh, the two other rhythm guitar tracks, uh, they have the mids pushed a lot. Uh, so you'll see here, it looks kind of ugly, but uh, the guitar tone on Hybrid Theory uh, actually has a ton of mids, uh, contrary to the, uh, you know, typical early 2000s new metal sound. So that's what this pair sounds like. My settings are here. Uh, I don't have the boost engaged. Uh, don't really need it. I have the gain uh, cranked, which kind of advised against uh, doing usually with amp sims. Uh, so here, uh, you know, I have the mids pushed a little bit. The treble pushed uh, again. Gain is maxed out. Uh, the cab settings are as follows. Uh, I believe it's similar. Uh, it's a similar setup to the other. A pair of rhythm tracks. Um, this is what I came up with. So all four of them together. And again, these are all panned hard left and right. All right, and then I have the uh, little uh, harmonic part tracked separately, obviously. So yeah, it sounds like this really simple um, and then we'll go off into the lead section so for that I have uh, two leads tracked a hard pan left and right um, actually I think I brought it in just a tiny bit uh, so and then I have a third lead track straight up the middle um, kind of verbed out uh, it's kind of lower in the mix so uh, that's what this sounds like <laughs> So obviously I have uh, some reverb running, uh, kind of low, uh, Not uh, didn't really want to wash them out too much, but uh, the guitars are for uh, crawling on Hybrid Theory, the uh, leads sound like they have a little reverb on them, um, so I'm just using this amazing reverb plugin. Um, everything by uh, Valhalla DSP is absolutely incredible. Um, a lot of their stuff is free too, so if you don't have it, uh, you should get it. And then uh, for the middle one, it's uh, again, same thing, uh, really simple, but uh, this is what it sounds like. And for that, I have the mids pushed a tiny bit because uh, there's a ton of mids in the uh, lead tracks for uh, crawling. 
And then uh, my EQ setup uh, is as follows for the two leads that are pushed out left and right. Um, so yeah, again, mids are pushed. I have a lot of the high end uh, scooped out because um, I'm letting the rhythm guitars kind of take up that space. So yeah, I mean, really, when you put everything together, I mean, obviously, you're not going to get an identical sound because you have to be recording, uh, you know, at NRG with all the same expensive equipment they used. Uh, so we're going for really close. Uh, so I'll uh, play all the guitars together and then I'll play it in the context of the entire mix. Now in the context of the entire mix. So uh, all these guitars were tracked with my uh, Paul Reed Smith CE24 with the Marzio pickups in the bridge. I believe they're drop sonics. I think that's what Brad used uh, to track hybrid theory, um, but not entirely sure. Uh, I know they're some kind of DiMarzios, and you're not, not going to really be able to tell the difference between uh, one DiMarzio pair to the next, uh, you know, in the context of a whole mix. I'm not sure what mics they used uh, to track the guitars on hybrid theory, so it's kind of a little bit of guesswork. Um, but again, it sounds uh, sounds pretty close to the original track, so. Again, it's really simple. Um, there's not really much going on with these guitars. They're more raw, um, less kind of snap to the grid than uh, Meteora. You know, the playing is a little sloppier. It's probably not the right word, but Meteora is very, it's all punched in. And everything is exactly snapped to the grid. Because I think they were going for that effect. They kind of, like the guitars kind of sound like a synth almost. So Hybrid Theory was much looser as far as the uh, guitars are concerned. So that's really it. Um, again, I uh, got pretty close to the uh, original recording, which is obviously what I'm going for. So again, I'll, uh, I'll play my uh, mastered version with my guitars in it. So again, I hope that helps if anyone out there is uh, trying to go for some hybrid theory guitar tone. Uh, didn't use anything crazy expensive again. Uh, STL amp hub, I believe you can get for free or it's like 10 bucks a month. Um, so yeah, no amps, uh, you know, nothing was mic'd in my studio. This is all in the box, um, plugging my guitar directly into my uh, Motu interface and uh, recorded uh, using, you know, uh, software guitars so uh to me sounds really close i think for not using a real mesa boogie stack i mean i don't think you're gonna get much closer i hope that helped i have a new record coming out soon um so be on the lookout for that and uh yeah that's about it